Sure. News Channel 8's Lenny Supal joins us live in Tampa tonight. You know, Lenny, cyber attacks seem to be all too common these days. Oh yes, Josh, the healthcare industry, a bullseye for hackers with criminals paying a high price for medical records on the dark web. And it's still unclear if any private information was stolen from the state health department, but one woman still desperate for answers with the ongoing hold on death certificates. More insight into the deep and complex cyber attack targeting Florida's health department. Cybersecurity experts weighing in. Complete healthcare records can go anywhere from 150 to to $1,000 a record, depending on how complete those records are. Fonda Emard grieving her mother's loss. Three weeks later, still no death certificate and no answers. There are several accounts that I have to continue to pay because I can't close them. We need to sell the house. And we can't sell the house without that death certificate. The Florida Department of Health responding to mounting questions and confusion that sent funeral homes scrambling when the online registration system went down. In a statement saying we are working around the clock to restore the online vital statistics system. What happens if you do not have a death certificate? It delays the process. You can't necessarily cremate a person. You can't bury them. But in this example, you can't distribute the funds that are within that estate to the persons who are entitled to that. Attorney Brian Camerino says options are limited for families as the situation continues. The next step is to call law enforcement, call these agencies. But then beyond that, it's beyond your control as a citizen, you know, to be able to get any sort of relief. Meanwhile, the state health department says they are working with counties and funeral homes about that slow and lengthy process of processing death certificates offline. Reporting live in Tampa, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.